it. This is Miss Yellow Girl. Do you want to put all four paws down? There you go. She is an F1B Bernadoodle from Clementine and Theodore. And she weighs 12 pounds, four ounces. She is the largest in the litter. She's a pretty big girl. I'm expecting her adult weight to be between 35 and 50 pounds. Here, can you want to sit like that? Is that better? <laughs> she was like, she was not liking how I was holding her. Uh, she's now eight weeks old. And she is um, also a silver tricolored merle. So she is mostly, most of her body is a pretty silver color with the merlin um, in black. Can we show? There we go. And then she's also got lots of beautiful white. So you can see she's got the white tip on her tail. She does have a white muzzle, white blaze, and the white that comes up across the blaze and down around her neck as well, like a big collar. She also has white tips on all four paws. We turn back around, there you go. And then she's got beautiful tan points on the front of her front legs, the front of her back legs, and then of course the cute gracho marks, her Bernese eyebrows, and then along the sides of her cheeks, just a little bit on her muzzle as well. She also has two blue eyes, uh, very often from Theodore. Him, he's got flecks of blue in his eyes. We will get some puppies with some of the flecks or maybe just one blue eye. This is his first one with two blue eyes, which was super fun to see on this girl. Her coat is wavy and um, it's a nice, really, really loose wave right now. So we're expecting it to just wave up a little bit more. So her grooming needs are gonna be about every eight weeks. Um, and again, I just can't stress that enough. The longer you keep the coat, the more grooming is going to be needed. But if you do um, shave down closer to the skin in between, then it's a lot longer that you get to go in between the grooming as it takes time for the hair to grow out and then you don't have to worry quite as much about the brushing. Um, it's just more to keep that in mind when you're talking to your groomer because the last thing they want is for you to come in with a dog who's all matted and not be happy that they're telling you they're gonna to need to shave them because that's what they would need to do because the mats hurt and it hurts if you try to pull them all out, especially when they're super matted. So shaving is the best for them. So if you want it long, you just gotta do lots of brushing, just like our hair if you wanna keep it long. Hi. She uh, was good and clear on her physical. We didn't see any problems there at all. But she also has, um, See, I'm trying to feel it right now and it's not there. Every once in a while, just a little bit of a bump will come out um, from an umbilical hernia. So it's where it just didn't quite seal over all the way from the umbilical. And so again, it's not something that my vet was able to detect, but I would feel it every once in a while and I don't feel it right now, but I did just before when I picked her up. So it's kind of in and out. It might be one of those that will heal on its own because of that. And um, if that doesn't happen, and if it's something that needs to be taken care of when she's spayed, then I do reimburse up to $200 for that separate um, surgery that's done at that time. It's not something that causes her any problems, doesn't change her activity level. It's not a big deal at all. She doesn't even realize that it's there. Huh. Um, her e energy level is medium. She does sometimes have moments of being high energy. She can get really excited about things. She has been super fun to work with because uh, she'll come in and she knows right away. After the first time that I work with the puppies, I always work with them in the same area for our training. And so the second time she came in, she was all over me, jumping, grabbing my hair, pawing at me because she was so excited. She knew we were gonna do work. She knew she was gonna be getting treats. And so that's really typical of her. She gets super excited, she's all over, and I don't uh, reward that behavior. It's not what I want. But I also don't punish uh, because that's confusing to the puppies. So I just basically ignore it. So I just sit there and wait until she settles down a little bit. And then I give her eye contact, and then I give her praise, then I give her a treat, whatever it is that we're working on at that moment, that's when she gets it. And so it's so fun to watch her after her initial, running around kind of being crazy, um, 
once she gets it, she's like, oh yeah, I forgot. This is what we're doing. And then she's good to go. She stays really good focus after that. It's just always the initial. In fact, sometimes if I'm not giving her the attention, because I'm just ignoring her, she'll go off and she'll play for a little while and then decide, oh yeah, it's almost like she just remembered, oh yeah, we're doing some work and so I need to go do this. So it's just the funniest thing to watch her do that. And she will also, she'll be working with me. She'll be fine, everything will be great. And then all of a sudden she'll look up and something that was always there, maybe just a little bit beyond the area we're working in, it will startle her because she had no idea it was there because she's so in the moment and I'm definitely not big on environmental awareness. She's happy to just go into spaces and be happy and comfortable with it. Whereas her two sisters are like, I kind of want to go check stuff out a little bit first and see what's going on. This girl doesn't need that, but then all of a sudden, <laughs> it's like something sneaks up on her. It didn't, it was there the whole time, but it's the funniest thing to watch when all of a sudden she's out of that moment that she was in and then she looks up and realizes that it could even just be a trash can that's sitting there. Thank you. Um, but something that she just didn't notice. So it's super funny to me to watch how super focused she can be and then she just loses it for a while. So that's something to keep in mind with um, training her and with taking her out. She does love to work. She gets excited about it. She does do really good with her learning. She takes just a little bit of longer time because of that, because we do have some disruptions, right? Sometimes she loses focus um, with what we're doing when all of a sudden she realizes something else is there. But when she's on it, she's totally on it and she's there and she loves life. She enjoys the new things that I introduce to her. She really likes to be able to explore and check it all out and discover stuff. So one of the things I do with their um, temperament testing is take them into a space they've never been in before in the puppy house. Um, so it still smells like the puppy house um, and they still hear the noises from the other dogs, but it's different. And I just like to put them down. I'm in the room with them, but part of it is to see what they do. And sometimes the puppies will just hang out with me. They're like, I'm not too sure, is this okay, mom? Where is yellow girl was like, oh, I'm gonna go around the corner. I'm gonna go check this out. I'm gonna jump up, not jumping on things, but putting her paws up on things to see what is this? What's the smell over here? So she's definitely one that is curious and wants to go and see what's going on and check stuff out. Like I said, she just gets so into that moment and doesn't see everything else. Uh, so it works out really good um, if you're wanting a puppy that can now, all of them are really good about being able to go places with you. She's just gonna be one that's gonna be um, easier to do that with. She won't need as much time to check stuff out first. She's just gonna be pretty good to go. And she did great with the temperament testing. She was pretty comfortable with everything I did. And I do expose them to a lot of things that I purposefully held back um, until now, like a little hand back, for instance, just to see how they do with that. And just to make sure that they're not running away scared um, because if that happens that's definitely something I want to work with them more on so that I can condition them to being okay with it. But she did really great with everything. Yeah. As far as her future home, she, just because of her exuberance and how focused she can get on something, it would be better if the children were five or older. As she's a puppy, I know once she's a year old, that I don't think that's going to be a big thing for her at all. But for right now, uh, she's going to be one that's going to be so in the moment. It would just be crushing for her if she was always getting in trouble for being who she is, which is like, I see something, I want to go get it. Um, that's going to take her some time. You know, all puppies are going to need time to learn that, but some will learn a little bit faster. She's going to need a little bit more time to figure out, you know, what's hers and what's not. So it'd be better if she wasn't having to deal with that right off the bat. Um, and, uh, but she's really good in, because she is calm and does have a nice medium. She'd be great. And with elderly people, she doesn't have to be super active. Uh, she'd be happy to be chill at home or to go with her people if that's what it is that you're doing. If you're being really busy, she's just gonna be happy to go along. And she does good with other dogs or other pets in the house. She would enjoy that as well. I think that might be it. Should we do another close-up? Come here. That is our Miss Yellow girl. Let me see her blue eyes. Good job.